The University of Belize launched the Institute of Banking and Finance, UBIBF. This is the university's third operational institute and it is geared at assisting several financial organizations such as banks, credit unions, insurance companies and real estate firms in equipping its staff with the skill set and knowledge needed to excel in the field. UB's president, Dr. Vincent Palacio, says the institute located right at home will make it more convenient and cost-effective for participants. We continue to try to be relevant and provide service for national development. And uh, here we have a situation where uh, we have a clientele at a, a certain sector to get certified in uh, training in courses relating to banking and finance. They would have to leave the country. So what we did, we established this institute, the UB Institute of Banking and Finance, where these persons can do the training right here in Belize. To achieve this feat, the university partnered with several accredited agencies from abroad to implement the necessary courses in Belize. The UBIBF has been invited to be a member of the National Anti-Money Laundering Committee. Also, the International Financial Services Commission has provided financial support as well as insights into Belize's financial sector. Dr. Palacio says the UBIBF will also facilitate a series of research that will provide policymakers with the relevant analytical data to make sound decisions. Uh, no longer will we have these walls around the university. There are several initiatives that we're embarking on, uh, including research. We've We've re-established our research office, so we have a research director. Again, looking at relevant research, we just launched our analytical lab where we provide uh, lab service for the country. So we're, we're being very outward in what we do. The Minister of State in the Ministry of Finance, Christopher Coyi, says that the establishment of the UBIBF will significantly contribute to the development needed for human capital, which will operate in the financial sector and promote growth. Belize um, is not very diversified in its economy. Um, you always hear about tourism being uh, representing as much as 44% of, of the economy and then, and then the, the focus on building agriculture which is also important for food security purposes. Um, but what else? What else forms, uh, can be a significant part of our economy? And that's where immediately we, we have to search. Of recent, over the past couple of years, um, the BPO sector has really um, emerged as a material component of our economy and is growing at an ex almost exponential rate. But we don't want to have move from two to three sectors. We want to um, have it even more broader. So, so the financial services um, sector, I think, is where there's opportunity, both in terms of the, uh, an economic sector in its own right, but also in terms of uh, enabling access to credit, access to cheaper credit, and having the financial literacy at the same time to understand how do you um, enhance and improve your access. The institute will be headed by a full-time coordinator whose office will be located at the Gian Gandhi building in Belize City. The first course will begin on March 30th, 2023. Giovanna Mogel for Love News.